Hi folks, how are you doing? In this unusual video I wanted to share with you all my thoughts, ideas and also doubts about what's been happening to my chess software and to my laptop lately. Now some weeks ago I decided to erase everything I had on my computer, on my laptop and get it started from the beginning and I wanted to get, give Linux a try. Uh, I mean like a month or two months ago I, I all, all I knew about Linux is that they said it existed that's that's all I knew so I tried to make some research I tried it on my old laptop which absolutely absolutely serves for nothing else just trying things on and Linux Mint worked quite well there I liked it so I decided to make a double boot here and have Windows 7 as well as Linux Mint as you can see we're here on Linux Mint 17 which I think is the latest version of this and here the prob problems came I mean of course Linux I'm absolutely uh, happy with it I'm very satisfied what, with all the things it has to offer open source free code it's that's absolutely amazing I, I have to say there are lots of support in the web in the forums etc the only problem I could find uh, was uh, with some um, uh, Windows uh, programs. I mean, the one I was interested in is you can see I have Chess Base 12 running here. Finally, I got uh, it executed using Wine, the application which apparently allows you to use uh, all these uh, programs from Windows on Linux actually it works very very nice uh, you know I use this I've been using this for like a year from the beginning to make the videos this chess base um, you can see I got a, a database with games with of Judith Polgar here and it absolutely works fine here this chess base 12 the only problem the funny problem I find with it and the, the thing that makes it very difficult for me to make a video based on this software here on Linux is that I mean you can move the pieces you can do pretty much everything but the graphical um, uh, comment is uh, really difficult here and this is where I start asking people experts on Linux etc out there for help and advice because only thing I can make here uh, is to make somehow some well that's what I was trying to I just pressed Alt and I wanted to do uh, the green uh, arrows and the green squares. Usually, as you may know, uh, if you click like this, pressing Alt as I'm doing right now, you have uh, green colors going here and there, and this should make a green arrow. But as you can see here, it's not getting it done, but instead the board just starts moving, which is quite annoying. Uh, if I press Alt Control, it makes this yellow arrows well half uh, half arrows because uh, we don't see the the end of the arrow and can make the colors on the squares but if I uh, press alt shift it once again starts to move the board which is very frustrating which means that I cannot use this uh, software the wonderful chess based software to make diagrams all I wanted to do I all I used to do to make my videos which is uh, really annoying to me because I I wanted to use chess base it's very easy it's very universal it's very cool to use so I I can't the problem is I can't make these green arrows it's whenever you press alt and start moving your mouse as you as if you want to make arrows the board starts to move in this stupid way so I'm asking for help out there Linux fans, Linux experts, chess base experts, whatever please let me know if there is a solution to this stupid problem so I can start using my chess base to make complete diagrams and uh, um, graphical comments on Linux and as an alternative I investigated out there and it seems there was this skit program SCID not really sure what it stands for I guess it's chess database S and C and D but the rest I'm not sure and it actually turned out to be quite uh, a nice program I mean it's open source uh, all, all native for Linux you can download it out there for free and it takes some time to get used to it but I'm gonna show you some of the things I have discovered here 
and I want your sincere and uh, honest opinion on this uh, how do you find it I mean I already made a video using this program the first game of the match between Richard Rappert and Viktor Lasnichka was made with this software with this seat skit and okay uh, uh, th there was just uh, one comment there somebody saying the, the the choice of the board was a poor one okay I I, 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 I sincerely uh, uh, I'm sincerely uh, grateful for the comment and the feedback. I would like seriously to know more opinions about <coughs> sorry about this because I'm I mean I can see the board pretty well here on my laptop. I I think it's it's fine, but if people doesn't see me uh, find it y useful or annoying or whatever, I would like to hear your sincere opinions. So thanks in advance for all that comments and feedback, etc. Well, here you have pretty much uh, lots of options, pretty much everything you could ask for in Chessbase. So this is open source, like there you have uh, lots of menus, menus here, edits, uh, you have lots of things. Uh, well, I haven't discarded everything here. The cool thing is here, you, have, you can analyze it with engines as well in the Chessbase, you have you can get the cross table, uh, put filters to look for games. Uh, you ca can get player information. You have if you have a pretty good uh, database, I guess. Import games options, lots of options here. And here we come to the piece styles. For instance, we have some pieces here. This is called Alpha. Please let me know what you think about them. Then we have Bauhaus, which is a uh, like alien language uh, we have lots of styles I think the one I had was Merida yes I think this is quite standard and quite cool then you have uh, colors you can choose between all these apparently okay, you can choose here and well not sure why it is it it's showing in gray or brown not in blue but okay, I, I I think you can pretty much customize it every way every way you want because I you can pick this is for light square and you can pick the color exactly the color you want and then you can exchange it. I mean you have some customized here. This like marble, very bad looking in my opinion. We have some wood thing here. We got green here, like an orange or brown. Uh, wood here, some more kind of marble or or rock there, something, and we have ever, uh, pretty much everything. This is the one I would chose. You can exchange these things, how the lines between squares you want to look for, and okay. And also we have uh, well, the game information. There are lots of options here, definitely, lots of things to. Um, to work with, to investigate, to research, and then we had uh, well, we have all these buttons. Uh, this is to move the moves. We have a game here between Jobava and Tamas Gelashvili from the Georgian League. I downloaded this just a second ago from 2700chess.com, and they have a PGM files uh, option there to download the latest games. This is the latest game they had played pretty much yesterday. Here you can add variations. As you can see here down, it says what the move me um, what the bottom means. Uh, add variations, whatever. Uh, how to play? Uh, rotate board. Put or delete the numbers here, and also put or turn on or off this uh, the side to move uh, thing here. And also we have a number of options here uh, for the cross table, for instance, for the Echo browser for the uh, opening browser, etc. And the thing I wanted to go with was the graphical um, uh, comments, or the, or the colors, all the arrows, all the that funny things. Uh, that would be pretty embarrassing not to find it right now because I, I th yeah, th there it is. Comment editor, Control E. There it goes. Um, this is quite cool because in Chessbase you can only use green, red, and yellow, uh, and only you can make colors on the squares or uh, make air arrows which is not bad at all of course that's great but as you can see here on skit you can use pretty much every color in the world I mean you got here 8, 9, 10 whatever colors and you can do 
all these things with each of these colors I mean you can paint uh, a square after doing this I think you have to click store so it comes here to your actual board then you can do all these things we're gonna see how they go we got an X here a plus a minus I mean this is pretty uh, quite a variety of of symbols etc so they could be somehow useful of course um, not me making all of them in, in in a single frame in a single capture but then you can do of course the the arrows I mean let's let's clear and make only a couple of arrows here in my opinion the arrows aren't that great because they are quite tiny uh, they should be like like bigger arrows uh, I know I guess you you get what I mean but okay they they do their job uh, and then download here on the commands you can see this is all like code of what you've done then you can uh, um, uh, add comments whatever and you can store it and in the notation you will get it here so well this is pretty much all I wanted to to show you the the way it this works more or less all that I have discovered and once again I wanted to ask all of you experts of Linux kit whatever there for advices and for uh, any kind of feedback of uh, how to use better this program or how to fix that uh, funny thing I just showed in the beginning of the video with Chessbase here on Linux the inability to uh, to make uh, red and green arrows and squares and uh, apart from that what do you think about this I mean if you think this would be a suitable or an appropriate program to make videos uh, if you like the board if you like the one the other one of chase base I mean every kind of advice and uh, kind feedback would be very welcomed uh, so I hope you you'll uh, you'll find time to just write a couple of words and say uh, what you think about all this thanks for watching